Okay, now we're looking at dynamic EQ. So this is one half of what the Dyn8 plugin does. The Dyn8 plugin can be inserted on as many as 64 different channels on this board at the same time. Plenty of them available. And you access a new Dyn8 by going through this insert A tab. It could be the B tab, but then it's not seeing the signal until after the EQ and the compressor. So I think for the most part, we will be looking at that insert position for it. So I'm in here, I'm looking at the overview that's showing me multiband compression and dynamic EQ. Um, multiband compression we went over in the last video. Um, multiband compressors act on the four different bands and you, you assign how steep these crossover slopes are and you um, assign where these crossover points are. Um, so a tradi traditional multiband compressor is just looking at the low mids, for instance, and only acting on the low mids when the low mid level is getting above a certain threshold. This um, plugin, you can also make it read the whole signal. You can set it again to wide instead of split. It's on split now. I can change that to wide just by touching that split. And um, then this compressor is looking at the whole signal coming in and still acting on only the low mids, but it's reading the whole signal, not just the low mids. Um, I don't want to get into too many applications right away, but as an example, if I had a high mid compressor on a, a singer who tends to be a little, a little shrill or a little harsh sounding only when they sing really, really loud, when they really, really belt. Um, so I can have this read their whole signal I can set this to wide and then um, set this so that only in the strongest parts of the song um, this compressor just com comes in and starts to sit down on those um, high mids when it's get really strong. Let's say it's, you know, two and a half K or something gets a really strong uh, little overbearing when the person's singing really loud. So you can come in and have a compressor that's just acting on the high mids but is looking at the signal as a whole. and waiting until the strongest part of the whole signal, the loudest parts of their performance, to um, just squish down on the high mids a little, for example. Anyway, that's, that's looking at the multiband compressor that's um, separating, and it's like four different compressors that are only acting on one area of the sound at a time. The whole other half of Dyn8 is the Dynamic EQ. Dynamic EQ, um, rather than looking at four different zones, it is it looks just like a normal four-band EQ. Each one of these I can grab and I can make it a boost or a cut. But these boosts or cuts only happen when the signal it gets louder. This EQ is changing based on the loudness, the strength of the signal coming in. If I look at this cut I've made, for instance, and we are looking at a vocal, for, uh, for example, um, this is kind of just what I was talking about for a, a multiband compressor to do, but I'm acting on the, um, I'm using a dynamic EQ to do it. So this is a heavy duty cut happening um, right up here at, um, it looks like 3K or so. And um, that looks really extreme, but it's not doing anything at the moment. As the, if the person were singing now, you would see some infilled blue coming down. You would see that the louder she sings, the more this cut would be. You would see some filled in blue only as the performance got loud. And then as it got quiet again, that would go away. So these boosts and cuts um, happen usually above a threshold, but I can change this and make it happen below a threshold. So instantly, see how that filled in? Now this cut is only happening when the sound is not loud. So in this instance, it's, it's working on the sound now. now. If the person were to sing, this cut would go away. When I change this to above, now this cut has gone away and it only takes effect when the signal gets loud enough. So for each of these bands of boosting or cutting, I have a threshold where it will start to act, and it's gonna act above or below the threshold, I get to pick. This is the bandwidth that's just like any other EQ band, how wide or narrow that boost or cut is. Um, and I can 
make it act on the whole signal for it can only it can read the whole signal this is wide mode it's sensing the whole vocal performance and and deciding when to make this cut based on the whole vocal performance or i can make it only um only listen to this band that it's acting on so that's where the split comes into it I can also change whether this is a fast acting um, compressor or not, so, or, I mean EQ or not. So if I go there, look how quickly that um, appears and disappears in the fast mode versus the standard mode, you'll see it's more sluggish to go away. So in the next video, we'll talk about applications for both of these things. Oh, another thing for the user interface on the Dynamic EQ. Um, here, um, if I select one of these, this is showing me the gain. And I can select these points, and it makes it the gain, the boost or the cut. If I click over here, this changes to be frequency. So that's how you use these things. It can be confusing at the beginning because you're so used to reaching for these EQ knobs, but these EQ knobs are still in effect. I can still have an ongoing static EQ that's happening to this sound. And usually I'll dial that in first. I want a good overall EQ happening to the performance all of the time. But then separate from that, I can have EQ curves that only act, in, only act when the sound is loud or only act when the sound is quiet. Um, which can be very, very powerful. And we're gonna look at some examples of that in the next video. But this is the dynamic EQ side of the Dyn8 plugin.